Hello everyone, welcome back to Math and Music Series by Hiba. In my previous video, I had discussed about what are perfect numbers. Over there, I happen to mention that the perfect numbers are generated using Mersenne primes. So, this video is about what are Mersenne primes and how we generate the perfect numbers using the Mersenne primes. Before we start with it, we need to brush up a little from the basics. As I told in my previous video, a number can be expressed as a product of itself with one and also using other numbers. For example, you can write 6 as 1 into 6, 2 into 3 and the opposite ways of it. So, these numbers 1, 2, 3 and 6 are called as the factors of 6. In this way, for every number, you can find out the factors by enlisting the all possible numbers which can be used to express the given number as a product. Every number is unique and hence each of them has a unique set of factors as well. Let's consider some examples. The factors of 6 we have already mentioned. When it comes to 5, the only way to express 5 as a product is 1 into 5. So 1 and 5 itself are the factors. And coming to 4, 1, 2 and 4 becomes the factors of 4 because we can write it as 1 into 4 as well as 2 into 2. Now coming to 3, it is only 1 and 3. And coming to 2, it's only 1 and 2. Here we observe that the number of factors differ for each of the number. Some have only 2, some have 3, some have 4. So, based on the number of factors, we can classify the number as two types. The prime numbers which has only two factors, one and itself, and the composite numbers which have more than two factors. So, in this examples, you can find for the number 2, 3 as well as 5, the only factors of them is 1 and the number itself. Factors of 2 is 1 and 2 only. Factors of 3 is 1 and 3 only. Factors of 5 is 1 and 5 only. Similarly, 7, 11, 13, 17, 19, 23, all these numbers will be having the factor as 1 and the number itself. Such numbers are what we call as the prime numbers. Now, actually, the Mersenne primes which we mentioned in the last video is a set of numbers generated using the prime numbers. A Mersenne prime is of the form 2 raised to p minus 1 where p is a prime number. Now what is the meaning of 2 raised to p is, for example, if it is 2 raised to 2, it is 2 into 2. If it is 2 raised to 3, it is 2 into 2 into 2. If it is 2 raised to 4, then you multiply 4 times 2 into 2 into 2 into 2. So that is the meaning of writing it as raised to the power of something. So 2 raised to p means 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 etc. p times. So now let's consider 1 by 1. The first prime number that is 2. When p is equal to 2, 2 raised to p minus 1 is 2 raised to 2 minus 1 that is 4 minus 1 which is equal to 3. So the first Mersenne prime is 3. Next, p equal to 3. 2 raised to 3 minus 1 means 2 into 2 into 2 is 8. 8 minus 1, 7. So the second Mersenne prime we obtain is 7. Similarly, we can go on finding the different Mersenne primes. The Mersenne primes are named after Marin Mersenne, a French math scholar who studied about this in the early 17th century. Actually, the Mersenne primes can be considered as a subsequence of the Mersenne numbers, which is in general written as 2 raised to n minus 1, where n can be any natural number. In particular, when we consider these numbers as prime number, it gives the set of Mersenne primes. Since the numbers are infinite, there are infinite number of Mersenne primes as well. And the largest prime that has been calculated so far is this, which was found in December 2018. Now, it is using this Mersenne prime, we are generating the perfect numbers. So, in that video, I happen to mention that the perfect numbers are of the form q into q plus 1 by 2, where q is a Mersenne prime. And now we know that a Mersenne prime is of the form 2 is to p minus 1. So, let's substitute in this expression and we obtain that a perfect number is of the form 2 raised to p into 2 raised to p minus 1, the whole by 2. 
Using the laws of exponents, this expression can also be simplified and written as 2 raised to p minus 1 into 2 raised to p minus 1. So now you can have a look at how the perfect numbers are found using this expression. So firstly, when you use p equal to 2, you are getting 6. When you use p equal to 3, you are getting 28. And then it goes on to larger numbers. This video was purely mathematical because it's a supporting video for the previous one and I hope you could follow it. So till the next time we meet with another beautiful topic. This is Hiba Abdul Salam signing off from Matter Music Series.